IA Amtas is available on the Intraacoustics Affinity Compact. Like any audiometric test run from the Affinity Compact, we always first start off in the database. This could be NOAA or AutoAccess. In this instance, we will use NOAA. Enter the patient demographics and open the Affinity Suite. If you wish to use the default IA AMTAS settings, you do not need to change the protocol. However, if you have configured the test to your individual preferences, then this is the time to select the desired protocol from the drop down list. Next, we can open IA AMTAS. This can be accessed from the menu by clicking Tests, followed by IA AMTAS. This opens the IA AMTAS screen. We'll talk about configuring the test a little bit later, but for now let's jump in and start a measurement. The first thing you need to do is set up the patient for the test. IA AMTAS uses a slightly different configuration to manual pure tone audiometry. The bone vibrator is placed on the forehead and the headphones over each ear. This allows for both masking and tones to be presented for air conduction and bone conduction stimuli without moving the transducers. Firstly, perform otoscopy to ensure there are no contraindications to the test. The contraindications to performing IA AMTAS are the same as pure tone audiometry and speech testing. After otoscopy, place the bone vibrator in place so it sits on the forehead like this and the headphones are then placed over the ears as such. It is essential that the transducers are placed by a trained professional. In the software, press the start button, then instruct the patient to press the begin test button when they are ready. Next, the patient demographics will be pulled into the test screen from NOAA. Instruct the patient to select the continue button. Now a movie will play, which will instruct the patient on what to do next. When the test starts, a series of tones will be presented. The tones will be different pitches and different volumes. Some will be easy to hear, and some you will not hear at all. Sometimes you may hear some noise. If you hear the noise, ignore that and only respond to the tone. Listen for the tones and indicate your response. Select the green Yes or the red No button by touching or clicking the appropriate icon. The tones will only be presented one time and there will not be an option to change your answer. When you start the test, you cannot exit until the test is completed. Let's begin now. Once the video is finished, the test begins. The first test to be performed is pure tone audiometry. Masking is applied automatically throughout the test. The patient listens for tones and responds if they hear them or not. Catch trials or no sound trials are regularly put into the test to ensure the patient does not guess. If the patient guesses too often, a warning will appear. The test will automatically switch between ears. Once pure tone audiometry has been completed, the test will move on to speech testing. These are the instructions the patient will receive. Now, we are going to test your ability to understand speech. Sometimes you may hear some noise. If you hear the noise, ignore that. Baseball. And only respond to the word. Listen to the word and indicate your response by clicking or touching the word that was presented. Select a word, even if you are not sure. The word will only be presented one time, and there will not be an option to change your answer. When you start the test, you cannot exit until the test is completed. Let's begin now. The first thing which is measured in the speech screen is the SRT, or speech recognition threshold. Again, masking is applied throughout the test. Once established, the test moves to test the word recognition score. Once the test is complete, it will bring you back into the Affinity Suite. Here you will see a masked audiogram along with the overall quality. Remember, green indicates a good quality test, amber a fair quality test, 
and read a pore quality test. In this instance, we have an amber indicator. This is because I, on purpose, pressed that I heard a sound when I did not in order to show you the warning. If a hearing loss is detected, then the AM class audiogram classification will provide more details on its severity, site of lesion and symmetry. Lastly, the speech recognition scores are shown at the bottom of the screen. It shows the speech recognition threshold as well as the word recognition score as a percentage. The last thing to show is some behind the scenes settings. You can change the setup of IA AMTAS by clicking the menu. In menu, select setup, AC40 setup, and then you can see how the AMTAS is configured. Firstly, on the startup screen, you can select if you're using inserts or headphones, as well as choose the screen on your PC, which the test will be administered on. In common settings, you have several more options. Here you can decide if you want to run both air, bone and speech, as well as the frequencies you wish to test. The speech box allows you to set the initial starting intensity for the word recognition score. We recommend this to be 20 dB greater than the speech recognition threshold. Note, this screen only needs to be accessed if you wish to deviate from the original default test settings. To save any changes, press apply and then OK. This concludes this video on how to perform IA AMTAS.